What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. So I'm sure you guys are wondering what these what this is, and as you can tell by the title, this is not something from Chewy. This is actually a iWoolly vacuum. And this is going to be an unboxing video of it. I can't remember what iWoolly vac iWoolly vacuum it is. Um I purchased this because I've been on the hunt for a brand that I have never heard of before. So and um, just so everybody knows, this probably will be the last video you, or for a while, or only video I have of me unboxing a new machine in my collection for a while, just because I kind of need to cool it with spending money, since you know I just got back from Mississippi and all that. So, and also before I get anywhere, I want to try and situate some of my vacuums, since as you can see, I have many. I'm doing, I'm going to be doing a full tour on my vacuums on my collection soon. But let's go ahead and unbox this. Um, yeah, it's a pretty fun time in Mississippi. Just got back it's late at night. Um, and then when I'm on my way back here, I actually just mainly just listen to music. I watch music videos on my iPad and put on it until it died. Um, it's got it. I can take that towel, actually. world it's got a bit of towel in here that's weird but maybe I'll use that so this is as you can see it's sort of a Dyson dupe um, looks pretty cool and you see the cyclones are similar to a Dyson there's the main power thing and the suction in the hose and then we have the um, carpet adjuster carpet you do it like that sorry and then if you want to use it on floors you just do that oh I didn't just break it did I? I didn't just, okay I don't want to break it and then we have extension wand You guys can see that, and then tools we have: upholstery tool, crevice, brush tool, and the thing that holds the tools with. Which I, maybe that's what's in here. Okay, apparently there's no screw, so I don't know how I will put this on here. But I'm not gonna worry about it, cause you know, move back into the collection and. Um, it's pretty cool and this is sort of going to be a two take I would have gladly done this sort of in a one take since if you look at it all I have to do is put the stuff on but it's late at night and I still haven't eaten dinner yet and I have to go use the bathroom so with that uh, I'll see y'all in a bit so um I just got done putting it together and this is it all together this is called the iwoolly cyclone vacuum it kind of sounds like kind of a cartoonish name if you remember watching the cartoons where it just says vacuum on the front of a vacuum cleaner in the character's house or whatever so that's kind of funny um, yep I unboxed it and brought it out here um, we'll excuse the y'all can't see it but we'll excuse sort of the Dishes in the background. Um, after um, playing with it a bit, the wheels on here are a bit messed up, and this does smell like wet dog. I'm guessing that's why this guy gave it away, but I don't really care because his loss is my gain. I mean, I could have bought this off of Amazon, but it would have been for like fifty some dollars. And um, it's kind of more fun for me to buy something that's used. Like me, for me, getting a brand new vacuum is sort of like a treat, if you would. But but after um, discovering that I have ants in my house that I'm thankfully about gotten rid of thanks to this ant killer I got um, I 
Nem ajánlom. At um, I had Scott, I had Anthony's that ain't killer. I brought this out here to use for you guys. And then one real thing, I do also have an update on my Dyson DC14. I need to get a bottom brush plate for it because without it, it won't suck properly, which meant this means that there's no ventilation for the suction. That's what helps it suck stuff up when it's picked up by the brush roll. But the brush roll is fixed. Um, and you will excuse the way this Dyson looks, I promise you guys. This is not my doing or the previous owner's doing. I mean, the previous owner didn't abuse it. She just used it a lot. And, you know, when you use some machine a lot, it starts to get a lot of wear and tear. You know, that Dyson's last forever. So, anyway, without further ado. And I also discovered one more thing. Sorry, guys, it's just really late, so I'm slipping. It's this thing, I think it's to where, as you can see, if you want to mount it on the wall, which I gladly would, but I don't know why I would mount it. And this is where the tools would go, so what I might do is see, it would go right here, so what I might do is see if I can sort of tape this on there, you know? I'm not going to screw around with it tonight. Like I said, it's late, and so let's go ahead and well, uh, let's go ahead and give this a bit of a run. Let's see how much dirt's been in my house since I left. Oh. Let's see right there, it says a uh, Wally Cyclone vacuum. The guy was, like I said, it's got. I'll show you guys basically the, the wheels are messed up, so then the fact that this kind of smells like wet dog. I feel like that's what the guys sold this on, um, offer up, but I'm not going to complain about it because you know that's why I was going to get something to use machine in. There's a lot of my vacuums in my collection that are kind of in that condition, and I don't care, you know? And, um, the guy was also very, very, um, responsible. He always responded to every text I sent him, and so. Run this. It's clogged. I hope not. Well, this is a little, it's fairly quiet. I'll be honest. Oh, look at that cyclonic action. Well, same noise level as my shark rocket. cool on this thing. Spot back in. If I can be honest, this thing is a bit more quieter than my shark rocket. I'm gonna vacuum like this works since this is where my roommate stuff is. Woo! Got the. Look at the cyclonic action, you guys. I can't lose it. I, can't, I have the. Urge of the uh, irresistible urge to show you guys we're trying to set something up. Oh, set that up. No, oh, but it's trying.
bit. It's funny is you're supposed to have the brush out when you're vacuuming carpet. Let me see if it does any better without the it partially because I think there's no wheels on it. Sorry if y'all can't see very well. Like I said, I didn't really think this through. Dang it. Oh. Come on, vacuum, let go. Hang on, you guys. Let me put my camera down. Excuse the noise in the background, it's just my roommate. Crud, why is it not there? Oh. Uh. It's a bit of a clog. Okay, let me. Pause this so I can unclog it. And then, oh wait, here we go. Okay, so let me go throw this away in the trash. All right, again, that's uh, just my tripod here. And then now we're gonna do the kitchen. Um, and you will excuse the mess that's in the background. I think my roommate was really busy today and throughout the week that I'm been gone. So, um, but like I said, um, this is he, he. This is not on purpose. Before people start giving all the hate comments, like say your roommate's mean. He should have cleaned up. He's as busy as I am, and he's as busy busier than me as well. So, I, it doesn't bother me that he doesn't do this because I like to clean, you know. So, I'm horrible at it. Horrible, horrible at it when it comes to my room. Anyway, let's go ahead and give this thing a whirl in the kitchen. So far, this has done a pretty good job. I'm a bit disappointed. I'm actually able to take that back. I'm not disappointed because, like I said, the wheels on here are kind of gunky, so that's most likely why it's not. It wasn't doing so good on that rug. Um, I feel like, other than the fact that it smells kind of like wet dog, but not too bad to where you can't use it, is why the guy on Offer Up sold it on here. And if he's watching this, I'm not saying that to be mean, you know. Because I think it's fine to do that. Because, you know, I would have done the same thing if I weren't a vacuum collector. If I had something that was kind of dirty or whatever. I did not sell it on one of those websites. So somebody who didn't mind it or liked collecting them wouldn't care too much about it. So, I um, can't remember the guy's name, but I'll, see, I'll look up that, the box over there. I got it in and tell y'all his name. So, in case you want to look for him. Because, yeah. Like I said, he was very responsive and everything when it comes to shipping and everything, so. I just sucked up an ant. Uh, this is good psychotic action. Obviously, now that it's getting full, it's having a bit of trouble, but that happens with all that in the second line. pretty long let me just go plug it back in then we'll finally do the rest of the kitchen and laundry and then we'll do the laundry room too y'all see here this ant killer has done an amazing job on ants 
hopefully it'll be done by tomorrow. I got some of my bathroom I need to clean up. Let's see, I'll unplug my little eye back here since I'm not using it. I remember that little thing. I'll be doing a review on it too. Vacuum on. We are picking up some of the dirt, so we one of the cubbies. That's really tough dirt. Woo! That pretty much is it guys, um, it picked up a whole crap load of dirt for a small little Dyson dupe, if you would, um, cause like I said, if you look at the, um, top of it, it looks like the Cyclones from a Dyson, one of the little Dyson battery powered vacuums they have, so, um, did a pretty good job here. There's a few spots that's missing dirt, but I vacuum pretty much a lot. Um, so, and you know, this being a, not it being used, being sort of a cheap vacuum that you would buy if you lived in like a small room with only like one piece of carpet or hardwood floors or you were one to not vacuum, you had hardwood floors, so you preferred to sweep, but if it was like a big mess or you wanted to clean your room, you preferred to get like a small kind of vacuum, some kind of vacuum that was meant for hardwood floors or that would, but small or something similar, like I said, similar to maybe a Dyson. Um, Dyson um, stick vacuum because if you look at it, this does look sim the top of it does look kind of similar to the Dysons and um, and um, this picked up a lot of dirt. Um, I give this kind of a five and a half. I give this a five and a half because this did work pretty good for a cheap little vacuum that I've never heard. For, like I said, you can still buy this on Amazon, so I think it's I Woolly Cyclone Vacuum if you're looking up to find one of these. Um, and um, the, in case you want to know who the person is that I bought this from, his name is Michael Matino. I'm sorry, I don't want to say his show is his card thing on the box because I don't want to give his address or whatever. But shout out to him if he's watching this video. Um, and. I'm going to go ahead and end this video so I can get some things done around the house. Um, and like I said, this will probably be a while before you see another vacuum unboxing video just so I can be able to show you guys my other vacuums. And I just got back from Mississippi, guys. And um, I got to save my money because I want to try to save it for stuff like groceries and whatnot. And I also have sort of a... I got to buy a part for that Dyson, my Dyson DC-14. And then I also have a, another vacuum project, which is my Hoover Wind Tunnel. Um, then there's my... Clean view multi cyclonic one pass. Well, I think it's just a one pass actually that needs a new brush roll. So, 
And then I also want to save up for another carpet shampooer. Um, this is the only one along with the little one that I have in my collection. It's a Bissell Quick Steamer and Power Brush. And this isn't a crappy um, one. I just want one where the, it stays on better and you don't have to use clips because both the clips have gone missing on this machine. So I don't know they haven't just one has so I don't want that to have to happen again. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this little review on this little machine. Um, if you like, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more vacuum videos. And with that, you guys, peace.